drinking? So it's we are drinking the Aran malt. Aran malt, single malt Scotch whisky, the Amarone cask finish. Mm -hmm. Just in case you were, had any doubt about how wanky we were being with this. Right. Right. Cheers. Cheers. You don't even smell it first, no foreplay. Buy them right in. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 2, it still gets brought up a lot mm. when people talk about disappointments. When people, <laughs> it talk, it about, does, does it? When people talk about games they really didn't enjoy mm. or, I don't know, like people pick on riding a lot. They people, do, they do. It's I mean, the same for them. Some people even say that's when the rot set in with Hideo Kojima. Personally, I think he was always a bit rotten. <laughs> <laughs> he was a rotten well, from the start. But you know, Metal Gear Solid 2 was the first one I bought it and um, mm -hmm. played from start to finish. And even though I hadn't played Metal Gear Solid 1 from start to finish, so you think, oh, I'd be confused at the story. Yeah. It just, I, I, I get really get hooked into it. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's the, the perfect Metal Gear Solid experience. It's it's short and it's mm -hmm. tight. Yep. And it's controlled. And mm -hmm. you, know, you know what I mean? What are we like talking about again? Sorry. Metal Gear Solid. All oh, right. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid Two. Um, I mean, I like Metal, I like the Metal Gear Solid series in general. Yep. Metal Gear Solid Two for me is the one that I could easily right now start that game mm -hmm. and not leave the couch until it's finished. Yeah. And still have a great time, you know? Like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, even now, after playing that yeah. a million times, because yeah. there's so many different ways you can do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Like, there's one path through the game, yeah. and there's one story it has to tell, mm -hmm. but there's a million different situ like, situations you can get yourself into in yeah. every room, and playing with the AI of the guards and all that. I think that. Th it's a weird mix of, yeah, they're very stupid. Aye. But there's also that. What like, was that noise? <laughs> what was that noise? Oh, was nothing. <laughs> oh. But at the same time, there's like this, like. Even though they're not very clever, they can easily overwhelm you. Mm. Like when you start getting caught, and so say you're in the, <laughs> snakes the plant. Snakes rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> snakes like some hard bastard. Yeah. rubbish. Like as soon as like two guards come yeah, up. Yeah, they can't really handle uh, it. Mm. Um, but like when you're playing something, then they start getting in like essentially like the, the, the guards with a shield. Mm. And you're like, oh, I can't handle these guys. They're battering right, me. And then the guys with the shotguns. Yeah, and exactly. you never get a shotgun. And you get overwhelmed. You uh, can get overwhelmed really quickly with yeah. them as well. So they're stupid. Like what? One guard is easily dealt with. Yeah. But two, three, four, you're like, oh, that's game over now. Yeah. I guess that's. Not well. I guess that's it. I can fight massive robots, <laughs> like tons of robots, but send four guards, <laughs> one with a shotgun. Oh, to start the sword. <laughs> Take me in. Metal Gear Solid 3 is an amazing game, mm. but there is something about how tight Metal Gear Solid 2 is. Yep, yep, yep. Like it's that, it's it's like laser focused. Mm -hmm. um, I just like the story it tells. Yeah. Like, see after Metal Gear Solid 2, mm -hmm. the Metal Gear Solid saga becomes so complicated. You just can't, mm -hmm. like you, you can't even, I can, if you were to ask me to describe the whole Metal Gear Solid plot to you, I wouldn't be able to do it. Mm -hmm. But after Metal Gear Solid 2 had come out, I could easily explain to you what the plot was because it's actually yeah. quite a nice, it's just one, it's a little conspiracy. I mean, there's yeah. complex ideas to it about society control and yeah. like information and the data age and all that. Yeah. But it's, at the heart of it, it's a conspiracy theory, yeah. conspiracy story mm -hmm. uh, with robots and the president, well, yeah. ex-president, ex -president, with two samurai swords. Yeah. John Sears. Full of like really like ham fisted metaphor, like mm -hmm. imagery. Like, you know, you, you fight the ex president of the United States on top of Federal Hall <laughs> like, after destroying half of New yeah. York. Um, which is interesting because I had to take that scene out. There was a scene where New York yeah, was destroyed because, um, after 9 11. Yeah. yeah, but I'm, I mean, it still, it still tells quite a, a good story. Like, what do you think you're riding? So, well, that's what that, that's, <laughs> that's, I mean, what that's, this is all about. That's, that's all about. the core thing about the game. So, when the game was getting trailers, demos, everything like that, are you getting eaten by midges as well? I am getting eaten by midges. Excellent, I'm glad we're both in the same situation. We've got a candle. We've got a candle that. right there. <laughs> it's not working. It's meant to be fending off the midges, but it's just not. Yeah. Citronella, um, citronella my ass. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say to the women in Asda when I go back. <laughs> um, so, uh, so yeah, riding, the, riding. the big thing about riding, it's almost like in a film. Yeah. In a film where suddenly it falls someone different. Yeah. And that's, I mean... Kind of like Magnolia or something. You get a different... Well, uh, yeah, essentially. Or like, there's tons of films that follow that similar yeah. uh, idea. Like, but what do you think of riding as a character? So, it's a bit like, for example, right, here we go. Here's a good way to think about it, right? <laughs> How happy were you when they revealed that um, Shia LaBeouf was, <laughs> yeah, was Han Solo's son? Yeah, that... In that Indiana Jones film. Yeah. 
It's funny how they made those into interviews. I just shoved them all together. But, um, no, right, uh, I, I really like the character, right? I like him. I like him because there's an air of innocence to him. Yeah. <laughs> which, does, which changes as the game goes on. You realise yeah. that actually he's as manipulated and as hard done by as everyone else. Pretty much. In the Metal Gear Saga. But he also gives you... He's Godzilla. No, he's not Godzilla, he's King Kong. He's King Kong. No. Which one's Godzilla? What? Because... <laughs> no, there's a you right? there's doc- what are you talking? Wait. There's a documentary. <laughs> well, come on, give me talk. There's a documentary about Metal Saw 2, Hideo Kojima, it says yeah. that I know, Saw Snake is King is Godzilla. Because right. he's created by like Science. Science. Yeah. Uh, and King Kong and Ryden's King Kong. Because he's nature. Because he's yeah. He's mm. naturally been taken yeah. into this habitat. Mm. Right, yeah, no, I yeah. get that, I get that. So well for me Ryden gives you it's firstly it's a viewpoint into this complicated world that's fresh. You're a rookie again. I think Kojima just wanted to do something new. Yeah. After and three it, games starring Solid it, Snake. It, when you get that viewpoint from outside, mm-hmm. so you're getting to see Pliskin, Stroke Snake, Otacon from a fresh perspective. Mm-hmm. And I think I think if they just said Snake the whole way through, I think probably people's interest in the mystery of the character yeah. and how heroic it can seem would diminish. The other big thing about the game is it's yeah. essentially a remake of Metal Gear Solid 1. It hits all the same story yeah. beats by... On purpose. On purpose. Because it's meant yeah. to be a simulation of the first well, game. Well, the game that you're playing is meant to be, from Ryan's perspective, a simulation hmm. of the events of Shadow Moses designed to try and create the ultimate soldier. In the in the mode of Snake. Well, yeah, you find out later. But... And well, then you find out even that that's more. Not, that yeah, that's not... Yeah, it's <laughs> actually more to do with... Oh, was, how to, how to it's, explain it? It's, uh, it's trying to create context for society. Yeah, it's essentially trying to Control make society... Better than they currently are, well, being bogged down by pointless information. Well, yeah, it's meant trivia. to. Yeah, it's meant to guide society in a way because society is about to get bogged down in needless digital information. Yeah, so it's which is shockingly prescient, prescient really. <laughs> yeah. And that's it. That, that's why it's one of those games. That I, I joked about saying it's relevant. It predicted the future, but it totally, now. it totally has <laughs> that hell, idea about this hellscape here. It has talked a lot about <laughs> hellish place we're in. We're, we're, we're in. I feel like all of Metal Gear Solid 4's uh, explanations for stuff that's cool in Metal Gear Solid 2 is rubbish. Like, yeah. I hate the explanation for Vamp being a vampire, because I like him just being a vampire. Nano machines, yeah. I hate the <laughs> explanation for Liquid being in an arm, because I like that it's just liquid in an arm. <laughs> well, it's like it's because Ocelot's real high. <laughs> <laughs> Ocelot is Ocelot's sky, sky high, high the whole way through. Yeah. Favourite bit, right. So I've got some very specific favourite bits. Go on, tell me. Number one favourite bit is when you meet... I don't know if it's when you meet Ninja for the... F- no. Olga it's when you meet Olga time. for the first time as Raiden. And she flips over the side. And she does a flip over the side. Yeah. And just the way the sun flares it's behind her. It's really cool. It's really cool. Yeah. Um, I love... I mean, the boss battles are so good. I love when you fight Fat Man. Yeah, it's a good boss. That was probably the first boss that I was like, oh shit, there's quite... There's some interesting ideas there's going on. the bombs and all that. Although even then, even the Olga fight... Yeah, right at the great. beginning, like, I mean, sh- like hitting the light, yeah, yeah. shooting the, the, tarp. the tarp and all that. There were so many clever ideas that are just packed in, so yeah. like that. My favourite moments, I mean I really, really love the gun, the whole end section in Arsenal gear. Yeah, it's where, really, right, So really you good. start off naked, yeah. which is like pure stealth, mm-hmm. and then you get the sword, which is just amazing. But, mm-hmm. but there's... Uh, the high frequency blade. High frequency blade, but, but between the bit where you get the sword and when you fight, fight Metal Gear Ray, there's yeah. two big gunfights. Yeah. And even though your stealth is completely out the window at that point, mm. um, I feel like the, the, the fighting alongside Snake yeah. and taking cover and ducking out and shooting and t- taking your sword out and just chopping away. Yeah. It's just it's such a it's such a great cathartic moment after mm. being a- actually naked and not being able to do yeah. anything. When when they're standing and they've all been captured, mm. and like Snake manages to yeah, pull yeah, apart his yeah, yeah, yeah. although he had help. I mean, he was, he was skiffed by a bullet. Yeah. And then you get the, the the boss that was cut, which is not the a lot of people know about this. Was. No, There's yeah. a boss fight that um, they had to cut from the game, which was Hideo, um, which was a uh, Solid Snake in a fist fight with Metal Gear Ray underwater. underwater. <laughs> and guess what? He wins. <laughs> The thing is, uh, when you watch that scene, right? What yeah. was he going to do? I know, I know. He just like I know. jumps out. He's like, <laughs> do you think he's mid? Diver is like, apparently. Oh no! I con to, to some dialogue later. He managed to get some sort of tracking device <laughs> on, onto Metal Gear. Because the thing's a fucking aquatic Metal Gear. <laughs> <laughs> so like, like this is. Re- <laughs> this is a guy. 
Just wait there. Do you think he lied? <laughs> yeah, I, I got the yeah tracking. Yeah, the patriots are all dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shut. I, yeah, it was me. <laughs> but you say Tombstone Lane. I'm dead for like hundred years. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, oh, in fact, no. We've talked about favourite moments. I've not even talked about the bit where revolver off a lot destroys like yeah. a battalion. The best cut scene. He rips his <laughs> rips his jacket off. <laughs> and he's wearing like Shoot. really baggy camos. Yeah, yeah. And he just like. Beautiful. Shoots the guns beautiful like because six bullets is enough to kill anything that lives. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's a game that doesn't deserve the bad rap it gets. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. I feel though, as it goes on, I think more people are realising that it's great. Yeah. Because they're coming to it in a different way. I think. From see, when if you, see if you've we did. see if you've went from the disappointing America Sword Five and you go back to it, you realise. It was on it something, it was making one nice tight package yeah. you can finish. I think we're doing another Metal Gear Solid yeah, Whiskey Fitness at some point. Fuck it, why not? Let's anyway, let's do four. Cheers. Cheers. Ah.